Ben here from Corner Flag Games and welcome back to episode number 16 of the Scunthorpe United Road to Glory career mode. So as you can see on screen, today's first game will be a game against Stoke City away on Saturday, October the 16th. But we'll have a look into the calendar now, see what other games we've got on offer for today. So as mentioned, we've got the game against Stoke City away on the 16th of October. The second game will be a home game against Preston North End. On October the 23rd moving into the week after that and there is a cup game around the 16 Carabao Cup game against Manchester United on the 26th of October and to round out at the end of the episode we've got a game here on the 30th the end of the month away against West Bromwich Albion so guys I'm going to get the squad all ready to go for this game against Stoke City so I'll return back with you guys in a short while Okay, guys, so we now move into today's first game, and this one is an away game against Stoke City. This one will be a simulated game. We'll have to order a place because Verda is out with a suspension due to the red card in the last game. So Bailey Wright will come in for him at centre-back. We'll sim straight through it, and it is a convincing 3-0 win for us. Goals to Son Kras and Crowley and Rosier, but another red card to a defender. It's Bailey Wright this time. Before we move into our next game, some news that we have here that happened during the last episode that I just want to confirm with you guys that happened off screen. Clayton Lewis, one of our backup players, has been loaned out for a year. He will be moving over to West Brom. Okay, guys, so moving into today's second game. This one comes on a Saturday, October the 23rd at home against Preston North End. So the team has been picked. So, guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so here are the team lineups for both sides in this game against Preston. So for us, it is the first team of Batala in goal. A back four of Diaz, Ponce, Berta, and Rozier. Two holding midfielders in Hoiberg and Alvarez. Three in the high midfield with Crowley on the right. Iconometers on the left. Son Krasen in the guts. And Eric up front as the striker. As for Preston, they will be running a 4-5-1 with Maxwell in goal. A back four of Rafferty, Gill, Bauer, and Hughes. Five in the midfield in Bayless, Amin, Ledson, Barkusen, and Johnson. And up front will be Stockley as the striker. Alrighty, guys. So here we are. We're back at home in Scunthorpe as us, the Irons, take on Preston North End at Glanford Park. And it will be the boys of Scunthorpe United. The Irons in our fresh away kit. Preston will also be in their away kit to stop the colour kit clash as we look to move on get a couple of goals in this fixture and assert some dominance here in the championship we go in now to hoiberg looking for an option here we do find it it is alvarez alvarez coming forward the chan tips on cross and gets past his man he's gonna have a ping from range oh and it's fallen out the back to eric the striker the keeper makes a great save but he palms it straight into the feet of our striker here it is on the replay. Preston haven't even touched the ball yet. Son Krasen looks to go wide, has a shot off. But as I mentioned before, the keeper does save it, but palms it straight into Eric's feet. And he will clinically strike that one into an open net. The goal does come to Eric in the sixth minute. And that is seven now for him in the championship this season. And it's taken less than 10 minutes for us to get the first goal on the board. But Preston will kick us off for the rest of this first half. More of what we're doing would be absolutely fantastic. Son Krasen now in the middle, looking to go wide. Iconomides waiting for that overlapping run. And he finds it through Valrosia. Valrosia just waiting now. Cuts it back. It's Iconomides who takes it. And it's straight at Maxwell. And they will clear the danger away. But it's a great shot by the Aussie. Another one, 21 minutes in, Son Krasen to take. Goes in near post, it's unmarked. Ponce tries to cushion it over, but he puts it well over the goal. Head across, see if we can find. Shattered hips on Krasen, we do. Alvarez tries to go back to him. Once more, can we get that one in? We do, it's Iconomides who turns and takes the strike and hits the back of the net. Here it is on the replay. Shattered hips on Krasen doing some dangerous work to find those quick fire passes. And it is Chris Iconomides... With the defence standing off, he manages to find the space to turn and get the strike off. And he nestles it down low into the corner. And that goal does come to Chris Iconomides in the 38th minute. And it's four now for him in the EFL Championship. And it will be Preston North End to kick things off. Once again, they are falling apart very early in this game. And as I say that, they hand the ball straight over to Eric. Who goes into Son Krasen, waiting for that run to come. It is Eric. 
Eric's just gonna go through. Oh, and he had his, he miss it from there. It was one on one with the keeper. Bars acuted. Gets the cross in. It's unmarked. It's Stockley, but he's put the header wide. That's been their best and only chance of the half. Oh, but he gets tackled at the last minute, but that will do us. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first half here, and we've come out and absolutely blitzed on the boys of Preston North End. And as we move into the sheds for halftime, it is Gunthorpe United 2, Preston North End nil. Okay, ladies and gents, so here are the match backs after the first 45 minutes against Preston North End. If you guys want to watch these in a little bit more depth, just pause the video. For all those that are still here, let's kick on with the second half. And it will be Preston North End to kick things off for the start of this second half. We've come out with the first team in this game and absolutely drawn straws against them. They've got no reply so far, just the one shot in the end late on in the second, in that first half as we go wide now through Val Rosier, who's come up the pitch. He's gonna look to play into Iconomedes who slides one through to a chatter tips on Krasen and it's too easy. He's not gonna miss that. The defense of Preston North End were caught napping as he made his move. Here it is on the replay. Val Rosier elects to turn in. It's a quick fire pass in. That one was meant to go to an unmarked Eric at the penalty spot, but it's elected to go further into Channa Tips on Kras and, and the little tie attacking midfielder is not going to miss those ones. And that goal does come to Channa Tips on Kras and on the 50th minute, and it's five for him now in the championship this season. Preston North End not playing their best game. They've only had the one chance to speak of. Barza Cuden finds Johnson. Can they find us snapping now? Bayless takes the strike. Patala gets a hand over it. And we'll put it out. They'll get themselves a corner. But they give it in straight to us as Alvarez tries to get a pass down the line for Chris Iconomides very quickly on the ball. He's going to look to push on and get all that speed that he can. Tries to cut it in across. Eric, the keeper, fumbles it. We'll look to go back. It is Hoiberg who takes the strike and he capitalizes while the keeper is off his line. It's a calamitous defensive display by Preston North End. And here it is on the replay. As the keeper comes out, Eric comes forward. He manages to win the possession and flicks it back to Hoiberg while the keeper is off his line. He's got absolutely no chance of stopping the rocket. That is Emil Hoiberg. And the goal does come to Pierre-Emil Hoiberg in the 62nd minute. Two for him now in the championship. And Preston, just after the hour mark, will kick things off once again. Not their best display. We're absolutely steamrolling over them. Corner now, 66 minutes in for Preston North End. We're going to come out for it. Oh, it's scuffed at the back. No, and it's a defensive mishap by, uh, by us. It is our defense and our goalkeeper who comes off the line a little bit too early. We've gifted a goal to Preston. Here it is on the replay from the corner. Johnson puts the corner in. Keeper comes out to punch, completely misses. We've got defenders there that come in and try and header it out. But it falls luckily at the back stick for a Preston player. And again, it's into an open net. The goal does come to Andrew Hughes in the 67th minute. His first goal in the championship. And we will kick things off. Our substitutes have barely had any time to make any impact in this game. They will come on considering we did have a four-goal lead when we brought them on. Look to play inside now to Zua. Zua's going to try and dance around his man. And he gets round two and takes the strike. And he's hit the crossbar. Hoiberg is there to pick up the rebound off the crossbar. And he's put that one into the back of the net. He scored himself a double now. Here it is on the replay. Zua dances around two of his players. Hits the crossbar, and he's straight at the crossbar, but it falls kindly into Hoiberg, who's in front of the defender, straight on his chest. Puts it in with his foot as he falls over. The goal does come to Pierre-Emile Hoiberg in the 74th minute. Three for him now in the EFL Championship. And Preston will kick things off again with 15 minutes to go. We've absolutely rolled over them. This is an utter domination. Crowley. That's a decent ball into Zua. Can Zua put one in for himself? No, he's hit the keeper straight on the chest. He might be able to do it here. Johnson, we get a foot in, in injury time. And that will do us, ladies and gentlemen, as we run out the clock against Preston North End. They were gifted a goal in the end by some lackluster defending miscommunication with our goalkeeper. But we've come out and absolutely steamrolled them. And after our 90 minutes, it does finish up. Scunthorpe United, five. Preston North End 1. Okay, guys, so on screen right now are the match packs after our 90 minutes against Preston North End, and it was a complete domination. 
you guys want to read into these stats a bit more, just pause the video for all those that are still here. We'll move straight on in to our next game. Alrighty, guys. So moving into today's third game, we are at home on Tuesday, October the 26th against Manchester United in the round of 16 of the Carabao Cup. Now, we're not too fussed about the Carabao Cup in this season. So we are going to run up the back out brigade in this fixture and simulate it as well. And let's just hope that it's not like a 4-0 drubbing. Nope, it's not too bad. It's only a 3-0 loss with a brace coming to Martial and Zaha getting a goal. But we do end up getting an injury to Magahi and a red card to Tavares. So at least the injury to Harrison Magahi is not a bad one. It's only a sprained knee and he'll only be out for seven days. Okay, guys, so we'll now move into our fourth and final game of this episode. We are away on Saturday, October the 30th, as we play off against West Bromwich Albion. So, guys, without further ado, let's get stuck in to this game. So, guys, on screen right now are the lineups for both sides competing in this fixture. So, for West Brom, it will be Johnston in goal, a back four of Deliva, Ajayi, Hagazi, and Velchi. Five in the midfield in Phillips, Pavelka, Brownhill, Sidres, and Sawyers. And up front, it will be Platt. As for the Scunthorpe United lads, it will be Batala in goal, a back four of Alex Diaz, Pons, Berta, and Valrosier. Two holding midfielders in Hoiberg and Alvarez. Three in the higher midfield with Crowley on the right, Iconomides on the left, Son Kras, and coming up through the middle, and Eric will be up front as our striker. Just a little bit of other information for this fixture. The referee for this game will be Jared Gillette, the Australian ex-A-League referee. So I'm dare going to say that this game, referee-wise, is going to go to absolute shit. Okay, guys, so here we are. We are uh, away at the Hawthorns as West Bromwich Albion will play host to us, the boys of Scunthorpe United. And it will be West Bromwich Albion to get things underway in this game. West Brom, probably one of the more stronger signs we're going to come up against in this current championship table. But we'll do our best to try and knock them over. In now to Platt, playing in deep. Brownhill goes wide to Velchi, but Berta comes across and will win that ball. Channing tips on Kras and he's going to make a run of his own to try and get ahead now. Can we get this one across? It's deep at the back stick. And he does find Eric with a well-timed and well-placed pass. Here it is on the replay. It's a great run by Channet Hipson Krasen. Looks to go sweaty. Find in between the lines. That is a perfectly timed and weighted pass to find Eric in a decent amount of space. Keeper just took too long to come off his line. And the goal will come to Eric in the 15th minute. And that is eight for him now in the championship this season. And after the first quarter of an hour of this fixture, it will be West Brom to kick things off once again. They are a stronger side, but we are peppering them a lot in this first half, showing that we are the dominant side. Looking to do his defensive duty now. Crowley coming through the guts. Can he find a bit of work here for Hoiberg, who loves a long bomb? <laughs> Not only does he love a long bomb, but he loves to hit the back of the net with them too. This man in today's episode is absolutely on fire. Here it is on the replay. As Crowley comes on the inside, he finds Hoiberg making a run. And there's nobody coming out from defense. They're too worried about the strikers and attacking midfielders. But he levers it on his left peg across the goalkeeper. And just calmly puts it in the back of the net. The goal does come to Pierre-Emile Hoiberg in the 28th minute. Four now for him in the championship. And it is a good showing here. Just under the half an hour mark played in this game. And the lads of the first team are absolutely destroying everything that gets in their way. Looks to play that one forward for Eric. He's only going to get round one, but he'll find Son Kras and It's a finesse shot. He hits Johnson straight in the chest. We'll get the corner. Try and go down this near touch line. Phillips will try and lock it in over the top once more to find Sawyers. Sawyers takes the strike, but he's well over the bar there. Eric, can we find a ball here? It's found Alvarez. Can we find Eric once more for a first-time strike? What is Chana Tipson Krasen doing on the ground? It is not going to matter because Jared Gillett calls time on this first half. And we have come out the blocks absolutely swinging and throwing punches at West Brom here. And as we hit the sheds at halftime at the Hawthorns, it is West Brom nil, Scunthorpe United 2. So ladies and gents, here are the match facts as we hit the sheds at halftime against West Bromwich Albion. So if you guys want to look in these in a bit more depth, just pause the video. For all those that are still here, let's continue on with this second half. 
And as we move now into the second half, the boys of Scunthorpe United will kick this game off for the last 45 minutes. A decent showing against a very strong West Brom side. We'll get that one back to Songkras. And can we find Eric? We do. Hoiberg with a long bomb. Hagazi comes sliding in. Johnston with the dramatic save there. Maybe dance. Nope, back to Hoiberg. It's a long bomb. He winds up for it. Johnston gets a hand to it. And Ajayi will win the ball. But Eric will pick it out. Tries to go in for the cross. And will get it away, though. Not going to happen, though. Alvarez, he's going to lay this one back for Hoiberg. Who winds up and takes the long bomb strike. Comes off Johnson's foot. Val Rosier gets the cross in, but it is offside. Can we find a ball out wide for Crowley? Takes his touch. He's finessed it. Oh, and he's missed it. What's Crowley got? He gets bullied in the back and loses out possession to Hagazi. He's going to chase it down, though. Branniel comes through the center of the park for West Brom. Hoiberg is there, and he picks it up beautifully. Hoiberg's going to go back to Crowley, who takes the strike. And deals the damage in the 89th minute. Here it is on the replay. Hoiberg wins possession high up the park. Elects to stop and not be greedy. And look for a better option. Instead of going one-on-one. -on -one and he finds Crowley creeping at the 18-yard box. He just takes a peg on his right boot. And completely does everyone. And the goal does come to Dan Crowley in the 89th minute. It's his third one now in the championship this season. And for what remains to be seen of this second half. West Brom will kick us off. Once again, now I'm pretty sure at the start of this game, West Brom were sitting in fourth place. They are one of the stronger sides here in this championship division. As Cedrez looks to go down the line, hold possession. They flick one into Jonsson, but Jared Gillett will call time on this 90 minutes. So it's another exciting display by the boys of Scunthorpe United. It's another clinical display. The shooting boots are on. Not making too many mistakes in this game. And after 90 minutes here at the Hawthorns, it finishes up. West Brom nil, Scunthorpe United three. Okay, ladies and gents, so here are the match packs after our 90 minutes against West Bromwich Albion. If you guys want to have a look at these in a bit more depth, then pause the video. For all those that are still here, we'll just kick right on. Okay, guys, so that about wraps things up for today's episode. So in our next episode, we'll be playing Blackburn home at Glanford Park on Saturday, November the 6th, and I can confirm that they are also sitting bottom of the table, so that is one that is not to be missed. But I just want to finish up by saying thank you very much for watching, guys. Be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and leave your comments and feedback down below. Don't forget to a smack that subscribe button if you have not already, and tick the little notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. For all those that aren't aware, please jump on and join in all the fun and in all the banter on the official Corner Flag Games Discord channel. Links will be on screen and in the description below. And for all those that aren't aware, we are doing live streams now over on both Twitch and on YouTube. So make sure that you are following on my Twitch and make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel with a notification bell ticked so that you get the notifications for when I go live on either of those platforms. Links to my Twitch will be on screen and in the description below. And I'll be back with the next episode of the Scunthorpe United Road to Glory Career Mode very, very soon. <laughs>